Now, our show is on in a bunch of different cities all across the country. And in those cities, it's really hard because, you know, with COVID-19, the coronavirus and lockdown, different cities have different rules. So it's like if we tell a story of something happening in the city we're in, the rules might be different in a different city. They might go, wait a minute, we can't get our hair done yet. Mm -hmm. But in the city we're in right now, some rules are a little bit different. Like I know Delaney, who's been locked down and her life has been shut down, finally was able to go to a club. (laughs) A club. The club scene. Bottle service. Clubs. What was that like, Delaney? It was so crazy. As you can tell, my body is not used to it because I feel like I'm still recovering from it. But Friday night, um, my friends and I, we went out, which was so (laughs) weird. It was so weird. So we went a little early. Um, We went at probably like 8, 830. And right when you walk in, they take your temperature. And then they go and sit you at a booth. Like and what, a thermometer in your throat. Uh, they just like <laughs> point at your head, your oh, forehead. Oh, that thing. The touchless one. That, yes. Those are, those are everywhere now. Yes. So um, we get our temperatures taken. We go in and we're, they sit us at a booth. And now it's you're not allowed in unless there's a seat for you. So there was a point in the night where there was like a line because there weren't enough seats for people. But we were sat at a booth and then there were separators between each booth. So there was really only like, they put six of us at the booth and then they put a table up against the booth to make more room. And then there were like two more people at the end. So it felt very, like it still felt very separated between each people. Did you dance? So, literally in my seat. Yeah, we were all just like <laughs> dancing, sitting down because they still had the DJ. Like once it got a little bit later, they like kind of like dim the lights down mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, but so, it was so much fun. There's no dance floor? It's no. just like everyone's at their booth and that's yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Would that be weird yeah. for you, Suzette? Uh, I mean, it depends. I, I, I guess, yeah, because you're used to dancing on the dance floor, but it's also fun dancing in the booth. You point at someone like you're dancing with them from across the room. Yeah. You point at them <laughs> and you kind of go, mm. <laughs> that's the person you're dancing with. But it, you, <laughs> really you, you, you want to dance with me and be like, I don't feel like right now. <laughs> no. Way, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you want to dance? Yeah, let's go. You can do like the Will Ferrell. Remember how they used to go, you, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was so cool because... There was a there was a point they played the song you know the song TNT TNT yeah, it's yes. Isn't that ACDC? Mm-hmm. Yeah. um so they that song came on and everyone in the bar starts clapping with their hands above their heads like everyone I don't know why so happy but to it, be out <laughs> it like brought tears to my eyes Stop like, it. I was like I feel so united right now like everyone's out like, drinking and TNT dancing. really is dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> it was the weirdest. It was like the weirdest thing. I, it felt like everyone was like coming back together again and like singing and dancing. I don't know. It was so weird. I was like so happy to have like someone serve me a Moscow mule. It's, it was so weird. It's almost like returning to your planet, but things have changed. Like, yeah. For me, I, so I went out to dinner on Friday night. I had a date Friday night. And when you first walk up, Reservation, yes, Rich. Do you mind if we take your temperature? Boop, boop. <laughs> and the temperatures go up. And then they bring you to, you know, all the tables are separated way far out. Mm-hmm. So in my case, we were out on a patio, like way over in the corner. And it's just weird to see servers and everybody all masked up coming to your table. It, it literally feels like I was in space for a while and came back. And this is how we eat now here on planet Earth. But the normalcy of just having a meal out at a table and being able to talk to people. The town I was in was nuts. There were people everywhere. Really? And dressed in a very casual part of town. People were dressed way the hell up. Way Mm. up. I read an article that, like, there are some restaurants that are filling the empty tables that have to be empty so that they can space people out, but they're filling with mannequins so people feel like it's busy because there's a different feel in a restaurant when it's full of people as opposed to, like, you know, an empty restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's normally in your head. You're like, oh, this place might not be that great because it's empty. So they're (laughs) filling the seats with mannequins. I saw this meme. It said, I saw it last night. I might even post it on on my Instagram. It said, does anyone else feel like People this weekend kind of forgot about the coronavirus. It sure seems like it. Because I went to, on Saturday, I went to a, a friend's graduation party mm-hmm. at their house, and there was a ton of people there, and everyone was totally normal. Totally normal. No masks? No masks, nothing. Shaking hands, mm-hmm. eating food. And for a second, I was like, oh, this is weird. And then I got over it. And then my I met my wife for dinner on Saturday night, and my kids at a restaurant. They didn't take my temperature. They didn't do anything. We sat at a table, the five of us. We ordered food. 
the only thing that was remotely different was that people had masks on that were serving our food, and I'm already used to it. So it wasn't even weird to me. Mm -hmm. We ordered our food. They got food. We ate. We paid. and We left. The only thing that was a little weird was yesterday. Um, my wife said, uh, my kids are still sleeping, and she just wanted to go walk to this restaurant by her house and go get breakfast. And this is just a technology thing, is that in the middle of the restaurant, uh, you know that thing that they do? I forget. What's that thing where you scan your phone over the little chip or over the little the little square? Apple Pay? It's like Apple Pay. But the it's little not, SKU code Yeah, thing. the SKU code. They have the a SKU QR? Co- yeah, like that. They have that in the center of the table. Now, it's part of the table. Have you seen this yet? No, I heard about it, though. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. So though. you're eating. You order your food. And whenever you want to pay, you just scan your phone over it and you can pay. Oh, amazing. You don't ever have to ask, ask for your bill or anything. And I thought that was oh, really so weird. I, I heard that people were doing that for the menus. They weren't doing menus anymore. They were doing the code and it popped up on your phone. Oh, it might it might have been like that. But <laughs> yeah. I, I would, it was just like, you don't, oh, you don't so ever ask for your bill. Mm-hmm. menus? Yeah. And I said, was, I, go, I don't remember this ever being here. I go, no, we did this during the coronavirus. So you just go, and then you just pay. Nice. But it didn't work. And I go, can, can I go old school and pay with my credit card? <laughs> and they're like, sure. So I went and I did that. Old.